The rebel NRM MP's plea comes as they are closing their defense in the petition that seeks to dismiss them from parliament. The MPs through their lawyers, Caleb Alaka and Julius Gelsonga, argue that the application before court is not proper as it's the high court that has the mandate to handle matters of jurisdiction. They further argue that court can't declare their seats vacant because it's not the party that sent them to parliament. They add that parties are easily closed, but the constituencies and the people can't be closed. NRM is challenging the actions of the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, to retain Thredo Sichikubo, Barabas Tinkasimire, Muhammad Sereko, and Wilfred Nwagaba in Parliament. The matter resumes tomorrow. Still in court, with just two days to the deadline of the SIM card registration exercise, court has had an interim application from the Human Rights Network for Journalists that seeks to block UCC from switching off SIM cards that are not yet registered. This application comes at a time when telecom companies still want more time to finalize with the registration exercise. The application before High Court Judge Justin Nyanzi heard that UCC is set to switch off people's SIM cards come 31st August, an action that applicants say infringes on individual rights. In the argument for and against from both the Attorney General and UCC, court heard that UCC never sought permission from Parliament before seeking to switch off people's SIM cards. With the new appointment of judges, we were able to get a trial judge to take charge of the SIM card case once and for all. And he deemed it urgent business of the High Court of Uganda to make a finding on our application for temporary injunction before the 31st August. Should UCC be stopped from switching off anyone? What is now left is to see the trial judge either granting or denying an interim injunction that seeks to block UCC from switching off SIM cards.